Two months after massive sewer backups and homes and streets on the east side, we're finally getting a look inside two pumping stations that just couldn't keep up. A new interim CEO is running the Great Lakes Water Authority. We're also learning more about a power cable cut days before that prevented several pumps from operating. Thousands of people have filed claims for hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner has been on this from the beginning with new information tonight. It's been two months since the first big rain and the sewage backups. The new boss in charge here says they're going to be better communicators, but she's short on answers that matter the most. Number one, we're committed to transparency. We've got these investigations going on. We're absolutely committed to transparency. An internal and outside contractor investigating what led to thousands of homes and businesses getting these massive sewer backups and basements and on the streets in the gross points in the east side of Detroit. Detroit has gotten 30,000 claims for damage. How many claims into the larger water authority? I don't have those numbers today. I really don't. I know that our legal team's working on that. Several lawsuits have been filed seeking hundreds of millions in damage. Sources have told 7 Action News the water authority has only $10 million in insurance coverage. You have $10 million in coverage and is that it? for these claims? Yeah, so I can't, I really can't answer that question. Our legal team would have to answer that question. Take a look at last night with more rain, another alert from the Water Authority for people who've had issues. But what are they supposed to do or where are they supposed to go? If you have valuables in your basement, you only want to bring those upstairs, right? If you have people down in, in, in the lower levels, you might want to bring them upstairs. The tour of the pump stations included Connors Creek, which has 12 pumps built in 1929. The Fruit facility was built in 1955 and has eight pumps. Some backup generators are on site, but officials say not designed to provide full emergency power. They say both pump stations have two external power sources coming in. But back in June, one of those lines was accidentally cut four days before the big rain and not fixed. It had devastating results. Three of eight were able to operate because of the power outage. Water Authority officials say more information is coming. They're continuing to work with the state and cities on future improvements. And they say no decisions are being made on those claims till after the two investigations are done in the weeks ahead. In Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you. Story will continue to follow, of course. Uh